Hey Richard, I'm Aaron with Seattle Piano Company. Uh, I just wanted to show you around the Yamaha C3 a little bit. Uh, so this one just came in about a week ago, um, maybe a little bit less than that actually. And what was kind of crazy about this thing, it's a nice one, you know, right when we unbox them, we kind of get a sense of, you know, what's this one like? They're always a little bit different. Um, I mean, this has happened before, but what's crazy about this is it's in tune. So this thing was in Japan. <clears throat> they did their, their refurb on it at the, at the factory. They tuned it, they put it in a crate, that crate went into a shipping container, that shipping container went from Japan to, uh, to Los Angeles. In Los Angeles it was unpacked, put on a semi-truck, and then that semi-truck brought the piano here. So it's been on a journey, and then when I sit down and, and play it, and hopefully you can pick this up on the mic a little bit. So right now I'm playing octaves, so when I hit these two keys together, they're in harmony together, they, uh, they, they sync well, but um, if the piano's out of tune, you hear it like very wavy. Um, so it's, I don't know, it's, this, is a, this is a very stable instrument. So I think that, that says a lot about the uh, Yamaha manufacturing and the legacy and just uh, great materials and really great design. So this is a 1984 model, I believe. And um, we were kind of talking about the finish a little bit uh, and like kind of what, uh, what kind of shape it's in. And so this finish is made out of uh, polyester. It's, um, it's almost like a, more of like a resin, like a, um, like a fiberglass resin uh, than like a typical lacquer. So it's a lot more resilient. It lasts a lot longer, it's a lot thicker. And so one of the really cool properties about it is, you know, when it gets a little bit older, you know, and just through wear and tear and stuff, I mean, you'll, yeah, you'll start to get some surface scratches. Sometimes there's nicks and things like that. But since it is so thick, um, we're able to service the finish. Um, so we do quite a bit of this at our shop. And in the case of this one, uh, in Japan, they, you know, they probably wet sanded. And then after they wet sanded, they, uh, they went through a couple different stages of buffing and they were able to get out um, all those major imperfections. So now when you're looking at this, if you go over it with a, with a magnifying glass or you put the light directly on it, you can kind of see some marks where the buffer was on it. But I mean, you'll, you'll see that on a brand new finish too. But I mean, just kind of approaching this piano and looking at it and seeing the brass hardware, like all, all shiny, um, which they also polished every piece of brass hardware on here. Um, and just looking at every part of the finish, I mean, it is really indistinguishable from a brand new piano. Um, so like even looking at like this brass hinge over here, come take a look at the front of this thing. So, I mean, all of these screws were taken out, like this whole um, hinge was taken off and, and buffed on a, on a machine. So, I mean, it's, you know, it, it's really, really hard to tell this from a, from a brand new piano. And then, uh, you know, it looks great, right? But that's only, only half of it or some of it. Um, the, the other thing is the condition of the interior, how it sounds, how it plays, that sort of thing. And so this is a refurbished model. And so when we say refurbished, what, um, what I mean is uh, some of the parts have been replaced, not all of them. Um, they pretty much took what was there and made it as nice as possible. So it's the original finish. They took what was there, made it as nice as possible. Um, they have uh, brand new damper felts uh, put in there. So those dampers are brand new. Um, it has a brand new back action as well. Um, in Japan, these were sold with, uh, with a two pedal lyre and also in Europe with, uh, with two pedals on the lyre instead of three. So for the American market, kind of how we luck out on these is, um, you know, to, to resell these here in the US, they have to put a brand new Yamaha lyre on this. So this is a brand new lyre, came directly from Yamaha, and they have to put a brand new back action in to, uh, to, work, with the, uh, to work with this damper assembly. So um, in Europe, they don't have this middle pedal, they don't have the Sassanudo. Here in the US, we do. So you have a brand new Sassanudo system, brand new lyre. Um, while you're down here, check out these, uh, these casters are really nice too. I mean, they do really great detail work. Looks like they kind of machined those down to, to be perfect again and then, uh, then polished them as well. But anyway, um, so yeah, so it's got original strings. So all these strings are original to the piano. All these tuning pins are original to the piano. Um, but they, you know, they took what was there and, and made it really nice. So they've gone through and they kind of scrubbed the strings, got any signs of oxidation off of there and just made them look really nice. Uh, same with the tuning pins over here. Um, they went through the A graphs over here and kind of polished those out. So I mean, looking at this, I mean, it's just very clean. You know, I mean, it's just it's a very very clean instrument, and this is uh, kind of mimics what we do here in our shop. Um, it sounds great, plays really nicely. Um, we'll do a proper playing video, but.
really strong bass. Um, the treble's nice and clear, but it's not uh, percussive and bright. Sometimes um, pianos in general, Yamaha, Steinway, is just like any, any brand. It doesn't have much to do with quality all the time, but um, so, sometimes pianos are overly bright and they kind of sound tinny and it almost like hurts your ears to listen to it. Uh, this piano is very clear. Um, so it's, uh, it's, so it's, it's bright in the way that it just um, has like a very clear tone, which is what I really like. And the bass is just super strong, very resonant. Um, the soundboard is perfect. There's no cracks. The bridge is perfect. There are no cracks. Uh, that's always really important. Um, I'm going to pull the action out real quick so you can kind of see the condition of that too. And I know you're not a piano technician. It sounds like you, uh, have piano technicians in the family though. And uh, you can almost just visually see what kind of condition the, uh, the inside is in. Um, pianos that are really old or pianos that have been in like um, extreme humidity, um, you, you can kind of, like the wood gets discolored. Um, and on this one, the key sticks are really clean. Um, the felts on the hammers are really clean. The shanks are really clean. Um, it's, uh, it's just been well cared for, and uh, I can tell it's never been in a, an environment where there's been um, untreated climate control, extreme humidity, that sort of thing, which can uh, adversely affect the wood, unfortunately. Right, just got one more piece to take off, and then I'll slide this action out. All right, so a couple of things about this. So we have our, our keys, um, we have our key bushings up here, our hammers and underneath the hammers and the hammer shanks. Here are our whippins. So you can see that these felts are nice and bright, the wood, uh, the wood isn't discolored, it kind of has like that nice lighter look to it. Um, the knuckles are in really great shape, um, nice, and, nice and soft, sometimes they can get really hard and that'll start to make noise or they'll get really worn down. Uh, the, this is where the piano gets most of its wear and looking at these, they, they look great. They look really nice, totally, totally acceptable. Um, on the hammers, these are the original hammers. Hammers can last a really long time, and when they get played a ton, they get really deep grooves in, into the uh, the tip of the hammer here. And so, um, you know, hammers get grooves. It's it's just you know part of the piano. The the strings are a lot um, are a lot harder than the than the felts are on the hammers. So what they have done in the factory is they have shaped the hammer. So they took a very small layer of felt down to give the hammer a brand new strike point and make that nice and clean. That also kind of helps give the uh, the piano a more well-rounded, less bright tone. And so when a piano has been played a lot, those string grooves are really deep. And then if it's, um, you know, if you shape the hammers like a million times, I mean, there's, the hammers are meant to be shaped you know, within the lifetime of the hammer, but it, you know, you shape them 20 times, there's not gonna be much left. So what I always look for is how much, uh, how much we have left between the core of the hammer and the tip of the hammer. And uh, there's, there's plenty of meat left on there. I mean, they, they don't look like they've been played or shaped within an inch of their life by any stretch. So there's uh, lots of life left in these hammers. Um, one of the other wearable parts on a piano are these key bushings right here. And the guy that's behind the camera, uh, my right hand man here at the shop has been replacing a lot of these lately. And so it's just kind of good practice um, to replace these. And so this is a very specific felt um, and it's not the same on every piano and every model. It just kind of has to deal with, uh, or has to do with how big the cavity is here or the, the mortise of the key and then um, how big that pin is. And we want a very snug but not tight fit. And so uh, what, what's that, what that has done, them replacing those and then also, under here, they've done the same thing. They also replaced all these felts, so we have a nice uh, pillow for the for the key to land on. Um, but what that's done is, you know, when they when they get wider and, and wear out a bit, you get this excess slop in the key, and, and it can be noisy, and you can just you feel it. It just it doesn't feel tight. Um, so they've uh, they've alleviated that and put a lot more life into the playability of this piano by replacing all of those bushings. Um, and then they also went through and they buffed out all of the tops of the keys here. So. Um, when you sit down, you're not going to see a bunch of scratches all over them, I and mean, they look like brand new key tops. And again, um, that's something you can do several times in the life of the piano, is getting those those keys to look brand new again. So um, this is a good one. This is a really nice one. Um, and actually, here I can uh, show you while we're while we're in here inside of the piano. So this is this is the action of the piano. Um, and then in here is called the back action. And so the back action is um, all of these guys. These control the dampers. 
So the back of the key lifts this, and then that damper goes up. And you can kind of you can see, I mean, just visually, this bar, all this hardware, all these tops, all that stuff's brand new. And so when they did that, and they removed the dampers and everything, they put uh, new new damper felts in uh, to kind of just I don't know. It's it's just good practice to do it that way. So they they did a very diligent refurbish on this. So um, although it is um, original parts, these parts have a lot of life left in them. Um, it's a C3, it's a very sought after mar model, and uh, this is one of the nicer ones we've had in here in a while. So yeah, really solid instrument. Uh, we will go through and uh, do a player video of this as well so you can get a sense of the tone. And uh, yeah, if you have any questions, just let me know. Thanks a lot.